Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After highs in the lower 80s today, we can expect cooler weather tomorrow and then the big warm up. <laughs> or the big hot up will move in as we head through the weekend and beyond with high temperatures right around 90 degrees. Right now we are looking at temperatures that are mainly in the 70s to around 80 degrees. That's going to feel cool compared to what's headed our way. In Green Bay, we've got mostly sunny skies. The temperature is 76. In Appleton, we're looking at a mixture of sunshine and clouds. It's 75 and the dew point is 46, which is still very comfortable. Here's Storm Shield radar showing scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. Let's start off across the north where the heaviest thunderstorms right now are moving through northern Oconto County. County and northwestern Marinette County could see some heavy rain, cloud to ground lightning and possibly some small hail. Farther south, we've got scattered showers right now, but everything is picking up in intensity and many of us will have a pretty good chance for some thunderstorms as we head through the evening. Here's a look at the high res future radar product, which shows those thunderstorms north and west of Green Bay moving south and east here over the next several hours before moving out over Lake Michigan later on tonight into to the early morning hours of Friday. Now there is a marginal threat for severe weather across the viewing area as we head through the next several hours and that simply means that one or two of those storms could be on the strong to severe side with some gusty winds, hail and very heavy rain. The thunderstorms are being triggered by a cold front that is now moving across northeast Wisconsin. Ahead of that front and behind it today, no major temperature changes. Most spots were in the 80s. We have to head off to the west to find out what's headed our way as we head through the weekend and into next week. You can see the heat is now building here across Montana, North and South Dakota, and it's going to be taking over most of the country as we head through next week. High temperatures were above normal once again today for the ninth straight day. Tomorrow it's going to be a close call with a lot of clouds and a northeast wind. High temperatures will be in the 70s, but on Saturday that wind turns to the south and west and that's when we're really going to start to heat up with highs in the 80s to around 90 degrees and dew points are going to be climbing as well so it's going to start to feel sticky out there as this big heat wave develops across the central and eastern part of the country. Now here in northeast Wisconsin we're going to be on the northern edge of it close to the jet stream where we're going to have periods of thunderstorms. We call that the ring of fire and when those thunderstorms move through they can have a major impact on high temperatures, not only just the thunderstorms, but clouds from thunderstorms that could be hundreds of miles away or the outflow from thunderstorms, which may have moved through earlier in the day or to our north. All of these things can complicate <laughs> forecasting how warm we're going to get any given day. And that's why right now I'm saying highs ranging from the mid 80s to the mid 90s. But right around 90 for most. Upper 50s tonight, a few storms early, then mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, lots of low clouds, then sun and clouds by the afternoon. Cooler with highs in the mid 70s. And then the heat and humidity pushes in for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Lots of hazy sunshine, high temperatures right around 90, Stacy, give or take a few degrees. But once again, we got to watch those thunderstorms. When they move through, where they move through plays a major role in how warm we get each and every one of those days. And some of those thunderstorms could also produce heavy rain and possibly severe weather. Sure, but at face value, we are into the dog days of summer. It's going to feel like it. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Thanks, Cameron.